Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have with me the brand new X-Way Atlas and I am super stoked to test it out. In the looks department, I really don't think the X-Way Atlas can be beat. I mean, this thing is beautiful. This is, uh, it's, oh my, just uh, look at this board. Everything from the sweet carbon fiber deck to this soft foamy grip tape just looks so precise. The board just looks super finished and it's a very polished looking board. As you can see, the model that I'm rocking is the four wheel drive version. So dual belt drives over here on this side. And if we go over here, we get the same thing. It comes stock with their off-road wheels. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and test out today. These are pneumatic, you have to fill it up with air. Should be a very comfortable ride. Some W concave here in the middle. That's nice. And the deck, pretty symmetrical. I would say actually 100% symmetrical, only slightly more narrow in the middle it gets in a little bit but looks like a good deck made out of carbon fiber so this will not flex it's gonna be a pretty stiff ride if we flip it over seamless very unibody very x-way when it comes to design x-way has been making their own trucks for a little bit now and they've been pretty good i am biased against double kingpin trucks normally i like them for some types of riding just not all types of riding so we'll see how these fare out these come with double barrels for the bushing so hopefully that makes things a little bit more stable and i can actually enjoy double kingpins big ups to x-way this board looks fantastic let's go ahead and hop on the board right now right off the bat this board is pretty darn heavy. This is the heaviest configuration you can have. And because the deck is carbon fiber, you're not gonna be getting much flex out of it. Ah, super stiff. All right, let's start things off slow. Let's just chill and just get a feel for the board in speed mode one. Whoa. Oh yeah. Ooh, the lean on these trucks is pretty dope. Right now I have the settings set to default. So this is default acceleration and default braking here in speed mode number one. Oh, the brakes are strong. I like that. I like that. Speed mode's a little slow. Let's just kick it up a little bit in speed mode too. Oh, that's a little bit better. Woo! And this road that I'm riding on sucks. So these wheels are actually kind of perfect. Yeah. You know, I haven't ridden an electric skateboard in over 21 days. That means I've made a habit out of not riding electric skateboards. I am hoping that the X-Way Atlas helps me break that habit because <laughs> this is a fun board. Oh, speed mode two is lit. Carving has never been so fun and easy. Sharp turn. Oh yeah. Uh, let's take this baby onto the grass. <laughs> no problem going through that grass. Let's let's keep the grass train rolling. Ah. <sighs> yeah. Fully maxed out right now in speed mode number two. Just keeping things nice and chill. I am digging these trucks actually. We'll see if that changes as we go faster. Like I said, I'm not really for <laughs> double kingpin at high speeds but I love it, chilling like this. Woo! Up the curb. Oh yeah. Woo. Let's go. Oh yeah. The wheels feel pretty grippy too. Like I don't think I'm gonna slip unless I'm under some loose dirt or gravel and actually the board's surprisingly quiet you would think that having two sets of belt drive motors it would be super loud but no it's actually pretty tame Ooh. 
Yuh! Oh, I love that. Love that. Brakes. Whoa! Brakes are strong. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, be careful. Don't just slam the brakes. Okay. Well, let's kick things up a little bit in speed mode three. Yeah, let's do that. Woo! Okay, I like that. Still pretty stable here in speed mode three, especially going in a straight line. But if you wanted to carve it out, you could. There are, there is traffic around me, so I wouldn't, can't exactly go wild right now on this narrow footpath. But I can take a little shortcut. Oh yeah, let's go baby. Woo! Yeah! Oh, you can make the turns and you can ride over the whatever you gotta ride over with these wheels. So far, it might be a little early to say, but these might be the most stable double kingpin trucks I've ridden. They almost don't feel double kingpin unless you're turning, which is kind of weird, but that's how it feels. They feel normal when you're going in a straight line, but then when you want to do the carves and the turns, that's when you can feel a give. I think it has to do with the double barrel bushings. So for those of you, if you're like me and you're kind of weary about double kingpin trucks, maybe this setup's the way to go. Woo! Yeah, boy. I just passed by a grandpa and his grandson and they just go, wow. And I feel the same way, wow. <laughs> ah! The brakes are really strong, you might have to adjust that. But in my opinion, it's better to have them too strong and adjustable than not strong enough and unadjustable. Because if you gotta stop, you gotta stop. I just wanna make this very clear. This board has power. Its claim top speed is over 31 and a half miles per hour. And while I am gonna mess around in speed mode four, I don't think I'm gonna attempt to hit the top speed because I'm 99% sure it can hit its claim top speed. I'm just not that confident on this setup just yet. I need a little bit more time. I'm gonna play with it, but I can't guarantee we'll go over 30 miles per hour. Already hit close to 25 miles per hour in speed mode three, and that's the fastest I've gone on double kingpin. And while it was comfortable, I can't say I'm that comfortable to go over 30 yet. All right, speed mode four. Okay, that was nowhere near as fast as it could go. But this road has some micro bumps that I'm not sure how the double kingpins will react to at high speed. Just know that this board is fast. It is fast, okay? Whatever they claim, the 30, the 31.5 miles per hour that they claim, you're gonna damn either get near it or pretty close to it. As for me, we'll work our way up to that. <laughs> it's always a good idea to ride within your limits because I'd rather have you riding a little slower for a long time than super fast for <laughs> a short amount of time. Well, I think it's time to take this all-terrain board. All-terrain, baby! <laughs> oh, let's go, that was like a grass wave. There's definitely a lot of power with the four wheel drive. Definitely enough to get you up grass hills and give you enough speed while riding off road. That's awesome. 
Watch out for those like little balls of spikes. They're very scary. Let's see where else we can go. <laughs> oh. Ah. This grass is so uneven. Woo! -hoo. Yeah! Up the grass hill. Hey, no problem. Let's get it. Woo! And back down. The Atlas definitely does not shy when it comes to power. You have enough to get over pretty much anything. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! I almost kind of want to add like straps to this setup. This is dope! Woo. One thing that I can feel right away from this board setup is that my front foot, actually maybe both my feet, ow, are getting a little bit fatigued from the stiffness of the deck. I imagine with the street wheels, you'd feel it even more, but because these all-terrain wheels kind of help absorb some of the shocks and vibrations, it's not too bad. Ooh, this is pretty. Someone decorated this path with like glass doves. That's dope. Woo. Oh yeah. It's been a long time since we've had a beautiful day to ride and it feels wonderful, and this board is helping put the punctuation mark on that statement. Woohoo! Something that I'm noticing is that when you let go of the acceleration, there is quite a bit of a slowdown. Not a big deal, really, but something to mention. Unlike hub motors, you don't just get to keep on rolling, you slow down quite a bit. Oh. <laughs> There's so much torque and acceleration on this setup. It's, oh, it's, it's unbelievable. You will have no problem either keeping up with traffic or just straight up passing people. Hey, <laughs> and you can carve it up and slalom. Ah. Oh. oh yeah, my feet are getting incredibly sore right now. That was easy. That was breezy. That was beautiful. Next way, Atlas. So after riding around the Atlas for a bit, here are my initial thoughts on the board. Let's start with the pros before we move on to the cons. First pro, it comes with all the features of the past X-Way boards. It's got the smart battery, which is great for storage, smart ESC, so you can turn it on with the remote without having to bend over, the shock absorbing grip tape, which helps with the stiff deck, and of course, the X-Way app where you can actually tune the board to your liking. The trucks are also fantastic. As you guys might know, I'm not the biggest fan of double kingpin trucks, but on this setup, I believe it's because of the double barrel bushings, it's the most stable double kingpin trucks I've ever ridden. In a straight line, they just feel like normal trucks. But then when you turn and carve, you can absolutely feel the double kingpin. You can pretty much make any turn that you want to make on this board, and you can surf the streets like nobody's business. The way they set up these trucks have me changing my mind on how I feel about double kingpins. They're that good. When it comes to torque and speed, this board has definitely got it. Especially the configuration I was riding, four wheel drive. You have two sets of skateboard motors pushing you along down the street and with that, the acceleration is very quick and the top speed is very fast. Now I didn't actually test top speed because I gotta get used to these trucks. Even though they are a bit stable, I still gotta get used to them. It can be a little sketchy on double kingpins going kind of fast but I did go around 27 miles per hour on it without even going full throttle. The fastest I've gone on double kingpin trucks and it's the most comfortable I've felt on double kingpin trucks. Without a doubt, I believe that this board can go 31 and a half miles per hour and then some. It does not lack at all when it comes to speed and power. The brakes on this are actually very, very strong and that's actually a good thing even if I did stumble off the board from pressing the brakes too hard. You can tune the brakes in the app to soften them up a bit, but 
It's better to have strong breaks that you can adjust than weak breaks that you can't. So I appreciate the strong breaks. The wheels, they feel great on the road. They feel great on the dirt. They're very comfortable and I have no complaints about them. When I was riding them, I feel like I could have just rolled over anything. I'm glad they went with pneumatics because I think those airless rubber wheels just wouldn't be as good on this board. The fact that they went with pneumatics makes this feel more premium. And they just feel better to ride. They're grippy and very smooth. The deck could be a pro or con. It's stiff, so there's no flex. So, But the deck overall feels good. It's nice and wide, very stable to stand on. And it looks fantastic along with every other component of this board. Aesthetically, this board just hit the nail on the head. This board looks great. It rides great, but it ain't perfect. So let's go ahead and move on to the cons. This board is incredibly heavy. It's a very... <laughs> very heavy board you do not want to be constantly picking up this board and carrying it around this is a board that you're going to want to have under your feet pretty much all the time for those of you that commute with your board and constantly pick it up i don't know i want to consider the weight of this board before you think about getting it and the most disappointing thing about this board is the range i rode this board from 100 battery to zero and i got 13 miles out of it they claim 16 I got 13. I mean, that's close, but it's just very disappointing. At this price point, I'd want to see at least 20 miles. And that brings me to my next point. The price, it's kind of steep. They have several different models to choose from, ranging from 1449 to 2249. They have several models to choose from at different price ranges, but even at the lowest price point, 1449, I would have liked more range out of it. However, I will note that the components feel quality, the ride is great. So I think that it is worth the price. It's just, it's a premium price. And last con, I don't know if out of the box, this board was gonna be perfect for everyone. I think you're really gonna wanna tune it to how you like the ride. Cause um, like I said, the brakes were strong, accelerations pretty strong too. I would definitely tune it up in the app, get those curves right and make sure that you're comfortable on the board. Out of the box, it just might be a little bit too much for people. So I would definitely adjust it to how you like the ride. Tang mode. The gimmick, fun gimmick. Where do I see this board fitting into someone's quiver of electric skateboards? Personally, I see it as a second board. If you're looking at this as your first, you're definitely not gonna be disappointed. But like I said, the price point is kind of steep. So you wanna make sure that you're really gonna love this thing if it's gonna be your first board. For most people out there, this board is gonna be an upgrade. Overall, the build quality is fantastic. Ride is great and comes with mostly high specs when it comes to speed range could use some work but yeah overall those are my impressions of the x-ray atlas i still give it two big thumbs up if it had better range i would probably grow an extra arm and give it three thumbs up the footage that you're actually seeing is from a live ride i did over on twitch be sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash for some live e-skate and game content you, you know what's up anyways guys if you enjoyed this video a thumbs up is greatly appreciated make sure to subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any other videos just like this and to be a part of the stoke squad in the comment section let me know what you think of the x-way atlas and what you want to see from it because i still have those street wheels and i think we need to make a video on that anyways thanks again for tuning in till next time stay stoked i'm out peace